Dear Santa, I've been really good this year. No. <laughs> I've been okay. Mm, screw it. I buy my own stuff. Hello there, it is Christmas time and that can mean only one thing. Today I'm going to tell you a load of real life tips and tricks that are going to make your Christmassy lives a whole lot easier. With all those presents you need to wrap up for yourself from Santa, or for your friends and family or whatever, you're going to need quite a few rolls of wrapping paper that somehow manages to unravel itself once you put it into the cupboard all by itself. Now if elf traps aren't an option, then here is a great way to keep all those rolls of wrapping paper nice and neat in your cupboard. To do this, take any toilet roll or kitchen roll once you're done with it and the paper's gone, cut it down the middle like this, then simply grip the wrapping paper with the toilet roll, and it will never unravel again. Rather than have a shambolic box of messy decorations all thrown together in one place, try this for size. You can use cups for bigger ornaments to store them away neatly, or you can use egg crates for the smaller ones. No matter how neatly you called up those Christmas lights before you put them away last year, when you bring them back down from the attic, they always seem to have formed a giant big spaghetti monster impossible to unravel. So here's a great solution to stop that happening ever again. Simply wrap the Christmas lights all the way around a coat hanger and your problems will be solved. Here is a great way to turn any boring napkin into a beautifully folded Christmas tree. A neat little touch for the dining table at any Christmas dinner. Allow me to show you how to reuse last year's Christmas cards, which you're never going to need ever again, by turning them into cute little labels that you can put on gifts that you give to your friends and family. If you're in need of a last minute gift box and you don't know what to do and you don't have one and you can't go to the store, and don't worry, it's fine because you can turn a cereal box into a great looking gift box to put your gift in. It takes only a few minutes and all you need is a pair of scissors and some sellotape or a hot glue gun if you've got one of those. For a full tutorial on how to make one of these, the link is down below in the description. Here's a neat little trick to spruce up any fireplace on Christmas day, or a hallway if you live in an apartment block like me and don't have chimneys. Obviously only use this one if the real snow that fell off his coat has already melted by the time you get up. Food gifts are obviously some of the best gifts ever and here is a way to turn a boring old paper plate into an awesome little DIY cookie basket. Cut into the plate at these four points right here, fold over like this, make another fold here and here. Sellotape the corners so that they're all nice and tight. And there we go, what better way to gift some amazing cookies that you made yourself or bought from the store. If you're a fan of hot chocolate on those cold winter nights, then here is a sweet little addition that can make it so much better. It's pretty damn simple. Just whip up some cream, spread it out into a baking tray, put it into the freezer, get yourself some heart-shaped cookie cutters, and make some frozen whipped cream hearts to put in those hot chocolates and make them all the better. So that it's a little extra special when you give it to your loved one or when you drink it yourself, because you're all alone. I made some more Christmas videos, including one where I made this freaking jumper, which I absolutely love and think is so good. So watch that video next if you want to see how I did that. Also over here is a video where I made some cheesecake truffles that are absolutely amazing. So watch that video as well. Do please share this video with your friends as well if you think they'll enjoy it as much as you did. Give this video a thumbs up as it really, really helps out. Just go down and hit the like button down below. But otherwise, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.